There are lots of different tools that can be used, and every country will pick their options. But what we can do is show that it's powerful, it's straightforward, and it's impactful. Justin Trudeau talked up Canada's carbon tax as a powerful tool other nations could learn from in bringing down emissions. The PM hosted a panel on carbon taxes at COP26. But back home in Ottawa, protesters say the PM is setting his sights too low. COP26 is our last chance to keep 1.5 degrees alive. That is the promise that countries made in 2015 when they signed the Paris Agreement. For Canada to do its fair share to keep 1.5 degrees alive, we need to show up at COP um, with more ambition. The organization Environmental Defence is calling on Canada to end exports of coal and presented a petition of 30,000 signatures to the Prime Minister's office supporting the move. Canada is the world's number seven coal exporter, but plans to stop by 2030. Protesters prefer 2023 as a deadline and say Canada could do even more by scaling back the financial support given to fossil fuel sectors. We still are the G20 country that bankrolls the oil and gas and coal sector more than any other country in the G20. That public financing, that bankrolling of oil and gas companies irresponsible, it's incompatible with climate action, and it must end. At the same time, the PM was presenting Canada's carbon tax as a plan the world could learn from, work on Trans Mountain continues. The Crown-owned pipeline will move oil from Alberta to B.C. for export, but Justin Trudeau says he doesn't see any contradiction in terms. As a world, we continue to need fossil fuels, and will, for a few more years. Uh, while we do... It's important uh, that we innovate, that we transform our energy mix to uh, reduce the amount of carbon emitted, both in the production and the transport of those fossil fuels that are still necessary. In Ottawa, Shao Lee, City News.